drawing a portrait with colour pencils part three. So now that I've mapped in her face, I want to start focusing on drawing in the hair. And the main thing to know about drawing hair is you don't want to focus on drawing all of the individual strands. The hair needs to be drawn in clumps or sections. So hair does naturally sort into sections. And what I really like to focus on is the direction of the hair in each of those sections, as well as generally the lights and darks. As far as building up the texture, I just want to gently brush my pencil back and forth against the paper to build up these kind of flicking motions and I like to start from the lighter colours and work my way towards the darker and then once again think about all of the colours that are missing so for example on this portrait the light shining on her hair is making it look like she's got a kind of grey strip whereas towards the bottom of her hair it looks more pinky toned. Once I've drawn in the hair I can then again focus on the skin and add in any final adjustments before beginning to press a little bit harder with a lighter pencil to smooth out her skin. 